running backs, not the first position that you usually uh, begin to discuss when you talk about the air raid offense, right? Wyatt got the ball. Wyatt back to throw. Wyatt look. Wyatt toward the end zone. Pass Oh, of course, touchdown by Matthew Butler. Matthew Butler, Jack. This video is sponsored by Mississippi Land Bank. Visit them online at mslandbank.com. Running backs, not the first position that you usually uh, begin to discuss when you talk about the air raid offense. When you look a little deeper, they get the football a lot in the air raid offense. And what I think, and I've made this statement at Mississippi State this year, year two for Mike Leach, I think these guys, Jaquavius Marks and Dylan Johnson, they were a freshman duo last year. They're still freshmen technically, but they're second year players. I think those guys are about to pop this year in 2021 in the Mike Leach offense. Let me tell you a little bit about them. To figure out where their careers may be going, it's good to take a look at uh, where they came from and where they've been to this point. And, you know, statistically, you look at them from last year. Here's the thing to remember as true freshmen, again, without spring or summer, they were one and two running the football for state last year. And they didn't run it very much, but they were one and two. Marks, a little over 300 yards rushing for Marks, a little over 200 yards rushing for Johnson last year. But Johnson led the team in touchdown runs with four. Marks had three. Here's the other thing, though Marks, your leading rusher. He was also the leading receiver on the football team in terms of numbers of catches. He had 60 receptions last year, eight more than Jaden Wally. Now, Wally had 700 yards on fewer catches. He's your leading returning receiver in terms of production and that kind of thing, yards. But Marks caught the ball more than anybody else. So they're constantly getting it in his hands, and I think rightfully so. You know, two back set. You get two back there with the quarterback. This is going to be Marks who uh, has a touchdown run on this play. It's blocked really well against three-man front, and they get him off the right edge of the offense right here. Uh, but it's a burst that I really like. I'll show you what I mean. Now, again, it's blocked really well, both right tackle and right guard. You know, tackle gets leverage because you got an end trying to swim to the outside. Right guard just steps up on a linebacker who's caught looking, and there's a hole. So now what's going to happen? Here's the hole. There's a defender kind of sitting over here in it. What if he turns? Is this guy going to turn and catch me? Am I going to get run down from the backside? This is one where this running back's got to win this every time, but if he's slow or if he hesitates, he'll get caught. And it's, it's, it's more than instinctual. I wouldn't necessarily call it instinctual. It's an urgency of, and then having the ability to outrun that defense. And that's a nice touchdown. All right, here is Dylan Johnson in the spring game. And uh, he had a nice spring game, had a nice spring. Even then, you get into March, April, you could see his body starting to really already fill out. And very, uh, like talk about, you know, aggressive, violent, urgent runner. Um, hard to arm tackle. Very physical. When you look at recruiting, we forget that Marks was the top rated recruit in the 2020 signing class for State, a four-star player. Dylan Johnson also in the signing class, one of your top five or six guys in uh, the recruiting class. And look at their sizes. You know, Marks is 190 pounds coming out of high school. Dylan Johnson a little taller at 192. And both of those guys came in, and that's what they played at last year as true freshmen. They're bigger, stronger, faster this year. You can see that on the roster. You look at it, they've got Marks listed at 205 going into this fall. And he's every bit 205. You know, you look at Johnson, they, he's listed at 215 on the roster. That's a 23-pound improvement for Dylan Johnson. And I'm telling you, anybody that has seen him knows it's legit. It's just not, it's not just a number on a page. He's literally put on those 20 pounds up to 215. Looks good, running really strong. All right, it looks like pass pro. Here he is beside the quarterback. This is Dylan Johnson uh, in the Georgia game. But it's really not straight up pass pro. This is a screen. They're turning the defensive lineman loose. He bumps the nose guard. They go screen behind it. Yeah, it's not a bad job. Uh, it's it's not his job to block the nose and pass pro. It's just to kind of get in his way because you're intentionally turning him loose on his tunnel screen. What I mean is, you know, he's coming back down the line, catching it behind line of scrimmage, and you're getting three out in front of him. He's going to get in that tunnel and bring it across. That's the design of the play. So the nose guard is allowed to come free. 
and you know it's his job just to kind of get in the way and help the screen pass to make sure it gets off cleanly. He does that, but you'd really rather see him stick him in there a little bit more. Um, and that's the difference: 190 pound freshman versus 215 pound sophomore. You won't see that this year. He'll stick his nose in there a little bit harder. Pass protection here for uh, Woody Marks, Jaquavius Marks, freshman. Rush is going to come right straight up the middle, and he gets knocked back into the quarterback. Picks up the linebacker, boom, gets knocked back into the QB. Now, again, the ball is away because the quarterback's getting it out quickly. But um, what you have is linebacker A gap. Marks has got to step up and meet him. And he's just not quite as physical as the linebacker is. And that's, I think, something you're going to really see change. You won't see this happen very much. You know, you, again, you go from 190 to 205. Another year of experience, another year, you know, your first full year in the weight room. This is a kid who had no spring, no summer last year prior to coming into this 2020 season. He's just a high school kid taking on a big, you know, linebacker, and he's getting knocked around. Um, so he'll do a better job in 2021. He'll have to. And Mark's bigger, but just as fast as he was. And that's another reason the development of the weight room has been so good for these guys to have a full year of off season that they didn't really get prior to 2020. Jaquavius Marks to the right of the quarterback, and this is gonna be kind of outside run coming back across. It's not counter, it's just coming across. And he's he's got a little bowling ball style in him. You see it at practice, you see it in scrimmages, you see it in games, downhill, no checkup, and just run into the contact full speed and make something happen. You know, there's no uh, there's no stutter, there's no hesitation thinking, okay, I'm going to think, 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 and maybe bounce, try to get to the sideline. There's no trying to make somebody miss. It's my, uh, you know, quickest point between, you know, quickest between two points, excuse me, is a straight line. My straight line is right here, and whoever shows up, I'm lowering my head and going after it. And that's what he does. You know, this is taking on a contact, true freshman, downhill. He's got to keep that head up right there. That's dangerous. Duck that head and give him the top of your head. That's really dangerous. He's got to keep that head up. I'm sure they'll coach that. And you got to, you know, stay up, give him the shoulder, not the top of your head. But I'm telling you, he's a physical guy who is, um, he likes to run through the contact. For Jaquavius Marks, I think his best quality is number one, toughness. The way he finishes, he gets popped, he hops right back up, he's right back at the line of scrimmage, he delivers licks, and that's only going to increase as he gets older and more experienced. So I think his best quality is his toughness. Dylan Johnson running the football uh, against Georgia, 23 Dylan Johnson. He's got some violence in his running style, uh, a slasher ability a little bit right here. And that jump cut, cut back to the inside, run through contact at the end, you see that a good bit. He's hard to tackle, especially – in that last two, three yards. But here's an example of that. You know, uh, stretch it to the outside. It's an excellent job by the offensive line to, you know, seal that edge. They gave you that. But this is a good job. He's quicker to the edge than the linebacker is. And then stick that foot in the ground and back to the inside. A little jump, quite literally a jump cut back into the fray. And then get down. And when contact is made, don't just twist and find the ground. Twist and keep spinning and make what you can make. That's a really physical finish to that run. For Johnson, I think his best quality is the thump. You know, some people don't like the word physicality, but that's what it is. He He's a slasher. He runs violently. He's back here beside the quarterback, and he's going to leave the backfield, into the boundary, going to catch the football as an outlet, turn, and now what's going to happen? Right, so you've caught it, and there is nine, eight yards between you and the first down stick, and there's a guy going to meet you. He comes across. Now he's two yards in front of. You got to get here. You are currently here, and he's in the middle. This is why you have those drills in practice, and how are you going to finish? This is one, if you're going to play running back in the SEC, you've got to win it. And a true freshman lowers his head, runs through the tackle, and gets a first down. I really, really like that. You know, right here sort of sets him up. Like, how am I going to do this? He expects me to try to go back inside. Take the contact. Actually delivers it right here. You know, get down, leverage, and deliver that shoulder. Boom. Get him going backwards. Run through the arm tackle. 
make a first down. It's an excellent job for a true freshman. All right, here's Marks again in the bowl game, an example of a physical finish to the run. You know, make one miss at the line of scrimmage, first of all, is really good. And, you know, it's three on five. That's what we're talking about here on the offensive line. And one's actually going to squeeze through with a chance to make this tackle. And the running back takes care of it. Boom, right there. He's in the backfield, foot in the ground, making miss. Then run off the block. This is great vision. I'll be honest with you, this is really nice vision. You're thinking, okay, cut back right here. Right, so you're you're running through this arm tackle, and the tendency is I'm going to the outside. I think if he does, this guy's got a chance to fall in here on him, and he steps up and makes a tackle, maybe short of the first down. But because your blocker is on his hip, he's trying to get back behind that block, and he does it with some urgency, and that's why he picks up a first down and lower your head, run through the contact at the end. Here's uh, Jaquavius Marks, single back, back here with a quarterback. It's a little bit of a, it kind of seems like counter almost, not really counter, it's just basically outside. But you get a seal here on the edge and he gets to the edge really easily. And what happens is this defensive back comes over to meet him and you get a one-on-one -on -one in the open field situation and watch what he does. Off the edge and back to the inside. Great cut right there. Out in the open field, defender trying to close you out to the sideline one little dip and back to the inside, make it miss. Excellent cut at the 25. Watch it in full speed again. Outside dip and back to the inside. And this is Dylan Johnson. Get out of there, quarterback comes back and now what? Make him miss, excellent job. Make another miss. Turn it into a first down by running through the contact. You know, this is against his own team right here, but you know, defender got to keep his eyes up right here. You're not just trying to deliver a lick. You got to tackle him and let somebody come help you. Make one miss. Now make another miss. Now you're to the inside. And what about the end? Take on the contact. Push, push, push. Run through it. Don't go down. First down and then some really physical play. They will catch the football a lot. They will be given the football more. And they are two guys who have the potential, I think, to be very productive They've grown up physically, they both weigh more, they're stronger, a little faster, they're in better shape, they're older, more experienced than they were a year ago. And I think they're going to be a huge centerpiece of the offense this year in 2021. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks to Mississippi Land Bank for supporting these videos and thanks to Mississippi Farm Bureau Insurance. Check them out at favorites.com. And I'll see you on the next one.